Note, where is by jurisdiction note, where is by jurisdiction a serial killer is typically a person who murders three or more people, usually in service of abnormal psychological gratification, with the murders taking place over more than a month and including a significant period of time. Between them, while most authorities set a threshold of three murders, others extend it to four or lessen it to two. Psychological gratification is the usual motive for serial killing, and many serial killings involve sexual contact with the victim. But the Federal Bureau of Investigation states that the motives of serial killers can include anger, thrill seeking, financial gain, and attention seeking. The murders may be attempted or completed in a similar fashion. The victims may have something in common, for example, demographic profile, appearance, gender or race, often the FBI will focus on a particular pattern serial killers follow. Based on this pattern, this will give key clues into finding the killer along with their motives. Although a serial killer is a distinct classification that differs from that of a mass murderer, spree killer, or contract killer, there exist conceptual overlaps between them. Some debate exists on the specific criteria for each category especially with regard to the distinction between spree killers and serial killers. The English term and concept of serial killer are commonly attributed to former FBI special agent, Robert Ressler, who used the term serial homicide in 1974 in a lecture at Police Staff Academy in Bramshall, Hampshire, England, United Kingdom. Author Anne Rule postulates in her 2004 book Kiss Me, Kill Me that the English language credit for coining the term goes to LAPD detective Pierce Brooks, who created the Violent Criminal Apprehension Program system in 1985. There is ample evidence the term had been used in Europe and the United States earlier. The German term and concept were coined by criminologist Ernst Genner, who described Peter Curtin as a Syrian murder. Criminal justice historian Peter Vronsky notes that while Ressler might have coined the English term serial homicide within the law in 1974, the terms serial murder and serial murderer appear in John Brophy's book The Meaning of Murder, the Washington, D.C. newspaper Evening Star. In a 1967 review of the book, there is the mass murderer, or what he calls the serial killer, who may be actuated by greed, such as insurance or retention or growth of power, like the Medicis of Renaissance Italy, or Landru, the blue beard of the World War I period, who murdered numerous wives after taking their money. In his more recent study, Vronsky states that the term serial killing first entered into broader American popular usage when published in the New York Times in the spring of 1981 to describe Atlanta serial killer Wayne Williams subsequently. Throughout the 1980s, the term was used again in the pages of the New York Times, one of the major national news publications of the United States, on 233 occasions. By the end of the 1990s, the use of the term had increased to 2,514 instances in the paper. When defining serial killers, researchers generally use three or more murders as the baseline considering it sufficient to provide a pattern without being overly restrictive. Independent of the number of murders, they need to have been committed at different times, and are usually committed in different places. The lack of a cooling off period marks the difference between a spree killer and a serial killer. The category has, however, been found to be of no real value to law enforcement, because of definitional problems relating to the concept of a cooling off period. Cases of extended bouts of sequential killings over periods of weeks or months with no apparent cooling off period or return to normality have caused some experts to suggest a hybrid category of spree serial killer. In controversial issues in criminology, Fuller and Hickey write that he element of time involved between murderous acts is primary in the differentiation of serial, mass, and spree murderers later elaborating that spree killers will engage in the killing acts for days or weeks, while the methods of murder and types of victims vary. Andrew Cunanum is given as an example of spree killing, while Charles Whitman is mentioned in connection with mass murder, and Jeffrey Dahmer with serial killing. 
The Federal Bureau of Investigation defines serial killing as a series of two or more murders committed as separate events, usually, but not always, by one offender acting alone. In 2005, the FBI hosted a multidisciplinary symposium in San Antonio, Texas, which brought together 135 experts on serial murder from a variety of fields and specialties with the goal of identifying the commonalities of knowledge regarding serial murder. The group also settled on a definition of serial murder which FBI investigators widely accept as their standard, the UNL.